start tweaking the scene. Um, we've got the shaders pretty much there. Maybe one thing I'd like to do with the floor is to go in. Now, remember with final render where you put in the samples, that's the maximum it will use. So we could quite happily go one, two, eight there. Not going to make a lot of difference. We'll leave all the shaders, the main ones, with a brute force reflection. So I want to show you how to tweak that and get a bit more speed out of it. So to do that, we'll go into the ray tracing tab and we'll start playing in here. But first, into the accent colour. Again, 64 samples. But what we'll do is advanced rendering options. We'll maybe change that to 10% cutoff two bounces. So we're culling that there. In the Chrome advanced rendering options we can change the maximum distance. So if we put in three meters and it fade to an end color. And I'll just show you, uh, show you what we've got with that. I'll let this render and join you in a while. I think what we'll do now is pretty happy up here. That's all looking good. The floor's a little too reflective for my taste there. So I'll go straight in into the floor. Maybe drop that down 0.25. We'll leave the samples as they are. Okay, one area now where it's very handy to tweak the render times. Click on the info stamp, enter here and type in percent render time and we'll just change the AA. In fact we'll leave that as it is for the moment. Into the ray tracer. Now 10 bounces, ray threshold 10, pretty default. I tend to be dropping this to 5 and reduce the internal reflections on glass objects and such like down to 2. So going into the accelerator engine, settings that seem to work well for me generally with interiors is 128 on the depth which is maximum and if you reduce the balance to 0 that turns it into automatic mode. And the AMRS, the Adaptive Multi-Ray Sampler, this controls the sampling for blurries, anti-aliasing, area shadows, the whole lot. This is, uh, this is one area that's great for playing with and can reduce your render time significantly. Drop minimum samples down to 8. And we'll just save our scene. as AMRS tweak. OK. Let's hit render. We'll come back and see what the render time's like. Right, we've got 11 minutes 49 seconds from a locked GI solution. First thing I'd be looking at doing here is increasing the amount of adaptiveness and then increasing the threshold. So if we tried that, 95 and 25 should be fairly good settings. And we'll render again. Right, we're down to 4 minutes 53, which is quite an improvement. Maybe taking the threshold to 50 would help a little as well. We are getting a little more noise here, but we can soon clean that up later. Um, another area maybe we'll do is just change the light shader. Architectural one. 
to find render light. We'll discard the old material. And there we are, the two sided effect specular, self illuminated. Yeah, so we've just got a few different options here. You can have a material or texture as your light source. Um, Kelvin there. For the white point. And you can store it with GI or use a brute force method. Um, I just really wanted to show you those settings. That's how I would typically set this up for this scene.